a uh, vector field. So the, here was the, the, the goal. The goal was a vector field with non-zero curl and no closed flow lines. So we wanted to have non-zero curl, but also no closed flow lines. So I thought about non-zero curl, like with each point here, it's getting pushed up a little on the left and a lot on the right. So you can imagine, that's basically like only pushing it on the right. So if you had like a little piece of chalk and you only pushed it on the right, it would turn. So you'd have curl. You know what I mean? So it has non-zero curl, and also all the flow lines are just vertical lines. So they're not close. Uh, based on the picture, all the flow lines are. And we figured out an equation for this. It should have non zero curl, no close flow lines. What was the point? So that's just what that means is like, if you drop like a leaf, and that's like a wind pattern, the leaf would eventually cross over? Or like? The leaf, so if you drop the, a leaf in here, yeah. it would just just flow, you know, up, or vertically, or, or flow vertically, either up or down, and it would be spinning the whole time. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It'd be like a pretty great ride, like sitting on an inner tube, just like going north, but spinning the whole time. That would be how it would be. 